So I only have 4,000 subscribers, but I used this trick and I got 16,000 views. And I did this inside of, you gotta just press record. This video is brought to you by ytimpact.com, our five day live and highly interactive challenge where you will learn how to start and grow a YouTube channel that helps people and makes money. You'll get the newest strategies and learn exactly what's working on YouTube right now. And with that, let's get back into the video. We had a question on Instagram from Jenny Snow author and she asked how should you promote your video once it's released. Jenny, the first thing that I would do is flyers. I would print out the URL on a piece of paper and go and put that on every single car at like a Walmart parking lot, somewhere that's really busy with a lot of cars. Okay, okay, you do not need flyers. Okay, put the paper down. We're gonna do some free tips here using social media and the power of the internet to promote your video. In this video, I'm not gonna cover every single social media app out there because there is a lot, but I have some really good practical tips and advice for you guys that you you can honestly use on any social media platform. So stay tuned for all of them because you're not gonna wanna miss the very last one, which uh, is gonna be a game changer for you. Now, actually, before we get into the tips and the tactics, I was talking to a new YouTuber and he was wondering if he should promote his video on Facebook and his personal accounts like Instagram. So he was wondering if this was gonna hurt the algorithm, if a lot of people were gonna come on and click off and they weren't really interested in his stuff, but maybe subscribing to his YouTube channel. But my advice would be to promote to your personal accounts, especially especially if you are just starting out. Any sort of eyeballs, any sort of views are going to help you rather than having nothing at all. And you'd be surprised how many of your friends and family might be interested in the content you're making, but this is gonna help get the ball rolling for your YouTube channel. So I definitely do recommend using these tactics if you are a beginner, if you're new to this YouTube thing, then definitely try these out and I promise they're gonna help you. That being said, number one is Instagram. A really easy way to promote your video is to screenshot your video on mobile and then put this on your Instagram stories. Let people know that there is a link in the bio and then of course add that link to your bio on Instagram and then people can click on that and watch your video and you'd be surprised how many views you'd get just from your Instagram followers. Another cool Instagram hack, and this really only works if your Instagram is like your YouTube content, meaning that if you are say in the Star Wars channel niche and you post all about Star Wars, if your Instagram is all about Star Wars as well, what you can do is look up hashtag Star Wars. Go to some of these posts and interact in the comments with these people, responding to comments, adding in your own comment, and people are going to see that, click on your page, and then they're gonna be on your Instagram feed, they're gonna see all your content, and then they'll want to go to your YouTube channel. This can be really powerful, not to just grow your Instagram, but also to send people from Instagram to your YouTube video. Number two is you can send out a tweet and promote your video with a direct link straight onto Twitter. If you have a quote or a cool screenshot from your video, then you can definitely add that to your Twitter post to make it a bit more unique. Now, ideally, you want each post on each social media to be a little bit different. You wanna add value for the people who follow you on Twitter versus the people who follow you on Instagram, and you're also going to be having different kinds of things that people like on each social media. For example, if you wanna promote on TikTok, I would follow one of the trends that is happening on TikTok and then have a link in your bio to your videos, and you wanna be serving the people on the platform platform, giving them what they want on that platform. All right, this next one is big and it is internet communities. So if you're on Reddit and you're in a thread being active in there, you can actually add your link to the discussion, you know, if it makes sense or create your own post as well. The key here is to be active in these communities. You definitely don't wanna be spamming people with links, but you can get a lot of views from this. I did something very similar to this, but it was in a different social media and let me tell you what happened. So I only have 4,000 subscribers, but I used this trick and I got 16 thousand views and I did this inside of a Facebook group so I'm in this Facebook group all about the black magic pocket 4k camera which is a cinema camera that I own and I've been active in there I've added in some pictures and I've commented on people's posts and it's a really cool group where I get a whole lot of information out of it so I made a video about a major update that happened and I posted about it in this Facebook group and people started liking on it people started commenting and having discussions on 
on my post. This led to me getting a whole lot of views within the first 24, 48 hours of posting this video, which helped snowball it on the YouTube algorithm, sending it to a lot more people than if I just would have posted it on my YouTube and not have promoted it on the Facebook group. Again, I can't stress this enough. You want to be active in these Facebook groups and these online communities or else people aren't going to respond well and it's not going to work well for you if you're not an active community member. So definitely get in those Facebook groups and then add into the conversation with links to your videos, but also adding to the discussion. I know Tony on the Think Team did this with his wife, Cammie, for their plant-based kitchen channel, which helped one of their videos get a whole lot of views simply by sharing it in one of the vegan groups that they're in on Facebook. So this next one actually might be the best one on this list, and that is to keep creating videos. When one person finds your video on YouTube, you can have links in the description that they can go watch, or you can shout out a video on an end card. There's a lot of ways to get people to continue watching your content once they find it on YouTube. And if you can get someone to watch another video and another video, YouTube absolutely loves this. And it's a fantastic way to actually skyrocket your views on your videos by sending people to more of your own content. I remember when I first found Catherine Manning, I was watching her video and she shouted out like three of her own videos in that video. And I was very interested. I wanted to watch all of them. So I went into the description at the end of the video and I watched the next video and the next video. And I kept learning from her and I was very interested in what she had to say. And I started binging her content. So when you shoot your YouTube videos, if you're saying something that you've already made a video about, make sure you shout that out and let the viewer know, hey, I have a video in the link in the description if you wanna watch that video. And this lets people know that, hey, down in the description, you do have some good stuff for them. You do have some links to send them in the right direction. And me as a viewer, I love when this happens because if it's something I'm interested, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and watch that video next. You can also send people to another one of your videos by the end screen on YouTube. And if you don't know how to create and add an end screen, you can click on the screen right now and I'll see you guys in the next video.